Hello! So today I'm going to talk about two Claudia Pinero novels, that is Elena Knows and A Little Luck, both excellently translated by Francis Riddle. I've heard very good things about both of these novels, so I decided to read them back to back. And from reading them back to back, I can tell you that there is one all-encompassing theme that ties both of these novels together, and that is motherhood. But let's start with Elena Knows. Aside from motherhood, this novel explores themes of illness, ageing, death, morality, caregiving and the Catholic Church. After Rita is found dead in the bell tower of the church she used to attend, the official investigation into the incident is quickly closed. However, her sickly mother Elena doesn't believe this is suicide and seems to be the only person determined to find out who the culprit is. Chronicling a difficult journey across one day from the suburbs of the city, Elena must find someone and call in a very old debt. Elena knows unravels the secrets of its characters, along with the hidden facets of authority and hypocrisy in society. Throughout the novel, we spend time in Elena's memories of her life, but also, and most importantly, of her daughter, Rita. Elena has Parkinson's, a severe case of Parkinson's that doesn't display tremors. The most simplest of tasks are extremely hard for Elena. Just putting one foot in front of the other takes extreme concentration and the aid of a pill. Elena's sternocleidomastoids have seized, forcing her head to constantly tilt down. Therefore, most of the conversations she has are with people's feet. The way Pinero writes Elena, her determination, her honesty, her pain, it was all so visceral. For me, this novel's greatest achievement is its exploration of illness. Now, I didn't know much about Parkinson's going into this novel other than the obvious physical symptoms. But this novel allows me to glimpse that struggle, not just for Elena, but also for her daughter, Rita, her caregiver, exploring the wider reaching aspects of this illness. And the execution of it was just masterful. Quick side note, Claudia Pinero is mostly known in Argentina as a very successful crime writer. And I've seen that both of these novels have been billed as crime slash mystery novels. And yes, 100%, both these novels have a mystery at their heart. Claudia Pinero is slowly drip feeding us information throughout with small little reveals, and she is actually doing it in both novels quite masterfully. However, I think it's a big mistake going into both of these novels thinking that is all they are. In fact, I'd suggest you go into both of these novels not concentrating on the mystery element. Allow the mystery element to just be something that's happening in the background. These books are about the ideas, themes and characters within them, and those are the elements you should focus on. What I'm trying to say is I just think you'd be disappointed if you went into either of these novels just expecting some sort of crime or mystery novel, because they are that, but they are also so much more. So, Elena knows what did I like and what didn't I like. What I liked. The writing is great. It is stripped back and it is focused. The writing perfectly captures the essence of sorrow and suffering. I thought the pacing was excellent. Many out there may consider it to be a little bit too slow, but in order to truly immerse ourselves in Elena, in her illness, in the struggle that she's taking to try and make it across the city in one day, we need to take our time. And yeah, the way the sort of reveals slowly come, the build, the pacing, yeah, I thought it was excellent. I also thought Elena was a beautifully crafted character. She felt so human. She does have her flaws, she has her demons, she has her regrets. At times as you're reading you can see that she wasn't necessarily the best mother. And it's through her memories and the struggle of this day that we get to feel and examine motherhood. How does a person become or be a good mother? What does it take to be a good mother? And can Elena be a good mother even after her child's death? I thought it just examined those things beautifully. I also love the simplicity of this novel. It is thematically rich, but not kind of jam-packed and bursting at the gills with different themes and ideas. So what didn't I like? There's nothing I didn't like. There are things, and I'll do the same with a little luck, there are things that I could see readers not liking within this novel, particularly the pace. It takes its time. It is a very slow build. In fact, plot-wise, things don't really ratchet up until the halfway point. But for me, I did not care. I didn't care at all. I felt like the pacing was perfect. I felt like it gave me everything I needed to connect to Elena as a character, to give me background on where she's from, the location, her illness, the key players within the story. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the slow pace at the start, but I can see as a possible dislike, people finding this, yeah, that it just takes a little bit too long to get going, but you know, I was absolutely fine with it. 
For me, this is a five star book. I think for most people, we're probably looking at a four star book due to the pacing throughout. But for me, I didn't mind it five stars. But whether it's four or five stars, that doesn't really matter at all because this novel manages to pack so much into a limited page count. I highly recommend. So now let's talk about A Little Luck. Based around themes of trauma, regret, damage, motherhood, family, and language. After 20 years, a woman returns to suburban Argentina. She fled Argentina to escape a dreadful accident, a sense of regret and condemnation from her community, leaving behind her son. But the woman who returns is not the same woman. She looks different, she speaks different, she even has a different name. After two decades spent in the United States, the damaged woman has rebuilt herself. But will anybody recognise her? And will he recognise her? She doesn't fully understand her reasons for going back to a place where she lived and raised a family. Things that she has been determined to forget forever. From anticipated encounters and unanticipated revelations, she learns that sometimes life is neither chance or fate. Perhaps her return is nothing more than a little luck. Just like Elena knows, a little luck slowly drip feeds us information. Pinero knows exactly when and what to share. Now, I know I've been using this word a lot throughout this review, but I feel like A Little Luck is just a absolute masterclass in exploring damage, what it does to us and how we live with it. This is a very sad novel, but it also gives us hope in the kindness of strangers. And I'm sorry I can't expand upon that without going into spoilers, but just know the hope at the heart of this novel lies within the kindness of strangers. This novel is teaching us that all humans have pain. We are all damaged in our own specific ways. Some more than others, but with a little bit of luck and a little bit of time, we can grow and learn to cope. So what did I like about this novel and what didn't I like? What I liked, again, the writing style is just excellent, stripped back, but so precise. I love that it's exploring just a few themes, but the way that it layers and explores those themes is so well crafted and in depth. And I'm not gonna lie, I teared up in quite a few moments throughout this book. It really got to me. Just like Elena knows, this novel has an ensemble cast, but also just like Elena knows, this novel takes its time to make sure we are in the protagonist's head. And I thought the pacing and build of this element was just excellent. I love that this novel was gripping because of the mystery element, what might have happened, it became a real page turner, but I also love this novel more for how well it explores its themes. I've often said in this channel that I prefer longer books. That's just because I like to spend a lot of time with my characters. I like the story to really, really build and become extremely layered, but I also love just getting lost in something that takes its time. I find that short books often end before I'm ready to let go. But this book is the perfect length. Rather than do many, many, many things well, it does a few things fantastically. And for me, that is the mark and the superpower of a short book. Anyway, that went on a bit of a detour and I'm supposed to be doing likes and dislikes. So let's move on to my dislikes. What didn't I like? Again, I'm coming up with absolutely nothing. Just like Elena knows, there are some things in this novel that I think some readers won't like, so I will mention them. But for me, yeah, they weren't dislikes at all. Some readers might dislike the fact that the first half is quite repetitive and some readers might get frustrated at the pace in which we are drip fed information. And some readers might dislike the fact that the secondary characters aren't as fully realised as they could have been. But again, I didn't dislike any of those elements. I don't know why I was just so fully in the protagonist's head. I was just so fully in the mystery of this novel and the themes it was exploring. It just emotionally got to me. I don't know, I just didn't care about those small, tiny little things that could have been seen as failings, because to me, they weren't. This book was everything I needed it to be. Just like Elena knows, A Little Luck is an absolute five-star read for me, and I think even at its weakest, if I was being really pragmatic about it all, this book is a four-star book, which means it's still excellent, which means I still highly recommend it. Just make sure you've got a box of tissues handy. So have you read either of these books? And if so, what did you think about them? Did you love them? Did you hate them? please let me know in the comments below. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all well, and I hope you're enjoying whatever you might be reading, and I'll see you all on the next one.